Uh, the first one here is is the mansion house in Keyport. Now you've got a before and after. Uh, let's talk about uh, let's talk about the before. What was the mansion house in Keyport? It was a ho it was basically a hotel. Uh, years back, Broad Street in Keyport was called the Turnpike. It went up through Keyport, South Keyport, crossed Highway 35 into Hazlitt, Homedale Road as we know now, all the way up Hazlitt Homedale Road through Homedale. Colts Neck and to Freehold. That was the turnpike years back. And when the farmers came down with produce to load onto the ships in Keyport where the dock was, they had to have a place to stay over and that was one of them. Well, I, I, I'm fascinated with the before and after of, of old photographs and you are lucky enough to have an after shot of this, uh, of this photograph. Uh, not much has changed. I mean, there's still a lot of the distinctive uh, architectural Definitely. Uh, style is still here. This, yeah. this, this porch is gone, or this railing is gone. Right, but the building, the structure itself is basically the same. Now, do, do you visit these uh, pictures to see what's there anymore? I haven't in a long time. In fact, I have a lot of good friends. I post my pictures, as you know, on, on uh, Memories of New Jersey Facebook site. Oh, I'm a big fan. And uh, one of, uh, or a few of my friends that see my photos, they all go out like this one. And another John, he lives in Hazard, went down there after he saw this and took the hmm. picture of it now. Wow, wow. The next photo that you're going to look at, the old theater in Keyport, the movie yeah, theater, yeah. I took that photo about 20 years ago, look the now photo. That. Now, what is it now? It's no longer a movie it's a, theater. Uh, it, in the back, it's a restaurant in the back, and uh, I really don't know what's in the front there. Now, it used to be little shops, but I don't know whether they're there. And look, even the house to the right of the, uh, of the theater. I tried theater. to get, when I shot them, I always tried to get as close to the original picture as possible. Right. Do you have any sense of, of what year this might have been taken in or the era that this was? Was this uh, the 40s? You know, so there's a, there's a streetcar, right? Or yeah, that, well, that's trolley ran through. Trolley. Trolley ran through Keyport, through town of Keyport. So that'll give you a clue. Yeah. Do you like doing that sort of thing, kind yeah. of looking at a picture I'm, and trying I'm, to figure I'm, it out? I'm not a historian. Like I told you once before, I'm right. a photo collector. Sure. So I don't have all of the details that I would like to have. There's some folks that know a lot more than I do about them. But I would date that the very early 1900s. Well, you, you say you're not an historian, but you you, see, you seem to be becoming one by default, well, Les. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> Now what's this? This is the that's, People's National that's Bank. That's one of the bank in Keyport. The bank is still there. Yeah, yeah. Now did you drive one of these cars when you... Uh, no, I wish I, 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 wish I had you. one right now, I'll tell you. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, that's nice. And then here's another Keyport shot. This looks like... Uh, is this the same trolley car one tracks? One of my favorites, yes. Yes, that's the train trolley uh, trolley tracks. They ran through Keyport on down to Union Beach. Yeah. And the old West Furniture Building on the right-hand side of that picture. Wow. And look, we have another shot, a better shot, of the R. Weston Company yep. furniture. Well, now, what is oil cloth? Do you have any sense of what that is? What you, what you used to put on your floor. Is that, and they sold oil cloth yes. as well? My yes. Good. Well, yes. Now, why did you put, now, I know you're not a historian, but why would you put oil cloth on your floor? Well, the, the linoleum, now, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I believe you. Yep. And look, they had uh, uh, they seem to have a delivery service here. Yes, they did. And uh, look at those car look at those automobiles. My goodness gracious. Amazing. It is amazing. A couple of ladies, mostly men. Yeah, uh, Robert West, I uh, can't tell you which one is in that picture on the other there's one other picture of the West. I mean, we may not have it up here. I can okay. tell you the two West brothers were, were in it. Well, you know, speaking of West, it looks like a Wild West building, doesn't, doesn't it? it? I mean, it looks like this could be something out of some Western uh, that, yes, uh, that Sam Peckinpah directed. That something. was their building after the original building was uptown in Keyport, and it was around 1876 right. when they moved into Keyport with that building. I, I, we should put in a plug for, for uh, people who are actually put in a plug for you. Uh, if you have some historical photographs laying around and you'd like to share them, even to either donate them or to, or to let Les uh, make, copies, uh, make of copies of them <clears throat> so we can share them with the world, we'd love to do that. You can contact this program or you can contact Les and we'll give information about that a little bit later. Uh, okay, we're still in. This is Old State Highway, and this is the famous seafood restaurant called Ye Cottage Inn in Keyport, which is no longer there after the Sandy Storm. Oh, it weathered many a storm, 
but the sandy storm, it was just too much damage, and it, it's just an empty lot now. Now, was the fish sign there too, uh, hanging on the? Uh, not on the not on the not building on the that one. just went down. No, they had removed that. I believe uh, that the uh, Keyport Historical Society uh, Society may have that. Mm -hmm. I know they used to have one hanging out in the front. Uh, wow. That building was lost during the Sandy Storm, too, the Historical boy, Society. Oh boy. You know, it's it's a shame because the Hurricane Sandy, uh, <clears throat> there were all kinds of photographs that belonged to a lot of the historical societies along the Bayshore, and quite a few of them, uh, their stuff was just plain lost in the storm. Isn't that yes, sad? Yes, yes. Yeah, a terrible shame. Now, what's terrible, this? Terrible this terrible is, uh, what town is this? This is Keyport, and okay. this is Lower Broad Street in Keyport. If you look to the far right of the photo, you'll see the steamboat dock. Oh, I where see. The farmers used to bring their produce and load them onto the steamboats to be shipped over to New York. And the Raritan Bay is Raritan out here. Raritan Bay yeah. is out in the yeah. back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To yeah. the left of the photo would be the single system laundry. Yeah. Uh, what in... Uh, I can remember as one of these buildings here, it used to be called years ago, the Bucket of Blood. Why? Was, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty gruesome. It was a, it was a, it was a rough place, uh, one of the roughest places. Oh, it was a Bucket of, of Blood place. like a bar? Or something? It was a bar. Oh, it was my a bar, yep. God, Bucket <clears throat> of Blood. But that's where I grew up, and that's where my heart still is. And if I uh, had my way, I would move back there tomorrow. Is your house still there that you grew up in? That I grew up in? Yes. Oh, yep, on Van Dorn Street and Keyport across from St. John's Church. Son of a gun. And what do you what did you enjoy about? I mean, what do you you know, uh, we we we're doing this uh, program for folks who live in the Bayshore area, but folks who come from other parts of New Jersey and New York City, what can you tell them about this place? Well, the only thing I can say is, you know, it, it it's a beautiful place to visit today as it was years back. Yeah. A lot of it has not changed. Towns like Keyport and, and areas in Middletown, and you know, they just really haven't changed. And you can go back and you can look and you can see these same old homes that you're seeing in this picture, like the mansion house that we looked at a little sure, while ago. Sure, sure. Still there. Oh, oh. Still there after all of those years. Many changes in many cases, but still there. And it, it just, it, it, my heart is, is, is in this area. It's in Keyport, and, and it always will be. Well, there's, there's some terrific houses to, to look at as you drive through all of the neighborhoods. There's the Strauss Mansion and Museum in uh, Atlantic Highlands, and we've done a segment on that. Uh, there's also the Spy House, which I believe is in Port Monmouth, uh, which is, I'm not sure the technical name of the, of the house is a different name than Spy House, but it has a history, and you can go through and, and take a look at that. Are you aware of any other houses where they give tours in the area? No, other than, uh, you know, like a, a back, back to Keyport again, where my sure. heart is. Uh, every year they run what they have, I think they call it a house tour. Oh, and uh, nice. you can go and they take a tour through town to all of the old homes. There's an old home in Keyport that a friend of mine uh, has. And uh, I can remember him telling me about it, that the, there's a fireplace in every room. And every fireplace was built from brick, brought back by steamers to the Keyport dock from all over wow. the world. Holy mackerel. The man's name that owns the house is Teddy Miller. Yeah, yeah. And I believe they call it the House of Octaves. He, they have different programs and things that they run there, but it's very interesting and a beautiful place to visit. Well, I this is. will you come back and, and bring us more photographs from time to time? I'd love to. Anything you ask for, you're, I'd be glad to bring uh, along with me. And well, thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure meeting you, and I, and I hope uh, people will uh, take us up on the offer. If you have some old photographs... Uh, Get them to us. You know, even if they're family photographs... Uh, we'd, and if they're we'd damaged. Love... Yeah? I just did one of uh, Tom's River that was almost destroyed when I got it, but right now when you look at it, it looks like a brand new picture. My gosh. Uh, that's the marvel of using computers today. Terrific. To well, take thank an old you. picture and bring it back. All right, you heard it here. Get your pictures restored. This man will do it. We'll try. <laughs> we'll try. Thanks again, Les. This is wonderful. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.